Mount Rainier. As you can see behind us, it's super close. It looks like you can just like reach out and grab it. <laughs> Sun's out blazing today. It's like 90 degrees I know. Uh, up here. There's all this snow and it's literally, yeah, I think and it's 85, 90. I think 85, we're at like 5,400 feet right now. The peak is 14. Uh, over 14 so that is way on up there you can see i don't know how good it will come out on video but the glacier is just blue you can see it is so blue um something like i've never seen before uh so far the park's been pretty good i'm um, starting to get really really busy so glad we came early did uh we're up at paradise right now which is like one of the most popular spots to go and it's supposed to be good for wildflowers so we're gonna do the holy crap <laughs> look oh wow deer deer black-tailed deer Wow. Anyways, we're gonna go do the Nisqually Vista Trail Loop or something like that. It's supposed to be like a one mile loop and really good to see the wildflowers. So we're gonna go check it out. But first, some pretzels. <laughs> It's day two in Mount Rainier National Park. We got up early this morning and went into Greenwater to get some cell reception. We're staying in Lodgepole Campground, which is in the National Forest, and we have zero cell reception. Uh, Off yes the grid if you want yeah. to get there. Yesterday we had to drive 45 minutes to Packwood. Today we drove 45 minutes to Greenwater. Um, so it's definitely like out in the middle of nowhere, but it is a nice campground and it's convenient for exploring this area. So now it's about 10.30, we're heading up to Sunrise, which is supposed to be another cool place to explore. It's actually the highest point you can drive to um, in this area. So heading up there, we'll find a few hikes and um, what else are we doing? Eat lunch. <laughs> Eat lunch, obviously. And then Natchez or Natchez Loop, which is near Chinook Pass. That's supposed to be one of the better hikes to do. So I think we'll do that this afternoon. Thank you. 